Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Tales of Legendia. And man, it's been quite a while. Okay, I just had to make sure my controller wasn't doing the stupid thing again. But anyways, yeah, I've been really bad with recording this lately, thanks to Tales of um, Hearts R. And then, of course, recently the release of <laughs> Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, so... It's like... Uh, I've been really bad at making sure I had time for this. Okay. Okay, those are going. So now I need to figure out if... I'm gonna guess I need to have all of them going again, so... Uh, damn it. Forgot about the orange gel already. But it's like... Yeah, anyways, when it came to this, it's just like... I don't know, I've been really bad on making time. And, honestly, same goes with Muramasa Rebirth. I just have, like, the first five episodes I recorded a few months ago. Well, not a few months ago. What the hell? That I recorded a few weeks ago, so it's like, eh. I need to just give myself a, a break from Tales of Hearts R. And, well, pretty much a lot of things, because... You know, I need to make sure I record this, as well as, well... Muramasa Rebirth. I thought I already turned that off. Or do you have something on the... Um... Okay, must have just been because I got hit a bit in that last one. I was going to say I don't understand why I lost so many points. Okay, that's right. Let's see. Ooh, what are you? Yeah, I guess you're a pointless one. Yep. You shut those off. Probably the same if I activate this one too, huh? Yep. So let's see, those two are pointless. I guess just the two up at the top and then we can go. Uh, this one looks kinda hard. You're going down. Yeah, I don't know. No, come on, Jay, hit it. Thank you. I'm so glad you stopped him, Jay. It's like, oh, I'm casting an Aerith. What do you do? Just let him do it. Come on, that was too easy. Oh yeah, I ha I actually haven't recorded um Tales of Hearts are in a few weeks now. Partly because of Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and. Partly because I honestly wanted to wait until the... I'm trying to wait for the last cameo outfits for the characters. But, I don't know, the past few weeks, it's like... Namco's kind of just releasing everything else before them, so... It's like, oh hey, you know everyone wants those cameo outfits? <laughs> Let's release everything else before we release those. Go through, go through, hit him. Well, that was Oh my goodness. I feel so strange playing this game. There we go, I got it right. There's the fourth one! Send it, see, go for it! Get ready. There's no telling where this will lead us. We're on the ocean? Uh... 
Relax, Chloe. We're not sinking. It's okay. Hey, you're right. Why not? We're probably not in the real world. Ah, it's not real. Thank goodness. Ah! Ahem. <clears throat> I apologize for my outbursts. Oh well, I guess it all worked out in the end. Shirley! She disappeared. She was staring straight up. Is something up there? There's the gate. All right! I've been waiting for this! Oh, yet another type. What luck. Oh my goodness! It's another gate that will act exactly the same. Just kind of hit harder this time. Tempest Gate. Let's see. Let's use another... Magic Lens just to see how much health you have. Oh, yeah, I didn't even need to do that, did I? Eh. Too late now. Up guarding you, giant gate. Oh, come on, it knocked him out of the combo? Keep him up. Keep him up. Keep him up. Keep him up, Sunno. Keep him up. I should keep some in reserve. Dragon Blast! Dragon Blast! Dragon Blast! Is this cheap? Dragon Blast! Dragon Blast! No! This is such a bully thing to do. No! No! Just close! Just shy of 200! No! I was so close! I just had to do that. I just had to do Swallow Dance. Screwed it all up. The spoils of war. Damn it. You brought this on yourself. I was just one point short of 200. I could have gotten it. Why did I stop? <laughs> I thought I might actually be able to get a swallow dance in and sort of keep him up, but I think I did it too early. That or it just doesn't... I don't know. I think I did it too early. And I didn't hit for um, Chloe to do her... What? I forget what it's called, actually. But I didn't have her do her move in time, either. <sighs> oh well, well, we were close enough. Yeah, I'm sure everyone earned a new title after that one. What is that? A shooting star. No, that's a ship! A huge white ship!
Now we finally understand the relationship between the sea, the shooting star, and the pillar of water. All the information came together in the end. But it's difficult to believe. Seriously? That shooting star was actually the white rectangular ship? Another tablet. What's drawn on this one? I see. Looks like the moment the shooting star, the white ship, fell. We can talk once we get back to camp. Yes, many moon ago, white ship fall from sky. Make no sense. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but yeah, that make, makes a lot of sense why a... Yes, I know, let's go take a nap once we get back. <clears throat> it's like, why does a ship fall from outer space? Doesn't break up in atmospheric entry and then just kind of lands in the ocean. Although that would actually definitely cool it down coming in if it landed in the ocean, but... Listen to me trying to sound not science. This is hitting me. Dark force. I'll never get that combo again. What the hell? <clears throat> With all the loss of points there. Um. I have no idea why I lost those points, but okay. Uh, yeah, I can actually understand that I got hit quite a few times, so. What was in this again? App. Oh. It. It. Just so it stops bothering me. It's kind of bothering me that it's still there. <clears throat> Let's do another really quick battle since we can't escape. Whoa. That hit me. That hit me, just barely enough. Oh, come on. Oh, little prick. Wait, why? Okay, really? Semi auto in this game? Why do you do stupid shit like this? Oh! Oh wow, that. <laughs> really? We go after him now? I swear. Holy shit, that health on Norma there. And I didn't lose point. Okay, I have no idea why I lost points in that last battle then. If I can get hit that much and have Norma that little. How much health does everyone else have, actually? Ah, oh, damn, really? I should have lost points in that battle. Welcome back, everyone! Good night. Well then, let's go over what we've seen again. Could it be that the Radiant are a different species that came from another world? I can't see any other explanation. The white ship did come down from the sky. That's pretty difficult to believe, though. It sounds so crazy. But you know, when you think about it, the Radiant are pretty different from us. Their hair glows, they breathe underwater, they make terror quests and fly through the air? Yes. The Radiant are a completely different species from us. We should probably consider what that means carefully. 
You two sure are emphasizing the word different. I think that's because that someone is thinking the same thing. Think back for a moment. What we wanted to know was the reason why humans in Radiant hate each other. Then we saw what we saw. What if that someone is saying that humans in Radiant are simply too different? And that the source of the hatred lies there? So it's telling us that peace is hopeless? No! Don't say Hell that! No. The Radiant themselves have declared us their enemies. We can't ignore the situation. But still... Honestly, when I learned that the Radiant came from another world, it scared me like nothing else ever has. Don't tell me the rest of you didn't feel something like that. Well... It doesn't matter where the Farron has come from. What about you two? Chloe? Moses? Do you really think it doesn't matter? In your hearts, aren't you thinking the same thing I am? Jay, that's enough! Whoever it is that's showing us these images, where are you? Show yourself! If you've got something to say, come out and say it. Stop playing around. Well? Hey! Damn it! Jay, you know who this someone is, don't you? Yes, well, perhaps it's time we talked about that. When we first came to the Quiet Lands, do you remember what I said we should do? You said we needed to ascertain what Nerefus is. Yes. Well, what do we currently know about this so-called Nerefus? We know that the Marinus is its agent. Exactly. Also, Shirley said she hears the voice of Nerefus. There was something else about Nerefus. What was it? The Radiant intend to purge mankind in accordance with the will of Nerefus. That's right. Doesn't that sound kind of similar to the images this someone has been showing us? Exactly. Very perceptive. As the Radiant are to Nerefus, so we are to that someone. Meaning what, exactly? That someone is... also Nerefus? But that doesn't make any sense. If that someone were Nerefus, it would be strange for it to be supporting us. Right. So what could that mean? Another Nerefus in the Quiet Lands? Separate from the one up above? That is what I believe. So this other Nerefus is the one that's been leading us? Yes. You sure about all this? So wait, just what is this Nerefus anyway? Groon? No way. No, look beyond her. But there's nothing, just... Yes. Nerefus is the will of the sea. The sea itself. <gasps> the entity we've been referring to as someone has been beside us the whole time. A universal presence, an overwhelming influence. And think of what would give solace to the Radiant, the Farinus, the people of the water. The sea. The Marinus' true power is probably the ability to communicate with Nerefus. Right. She's its agent. Yeah, Cheryl said she can hear the sea. Shirley is planning to use the power of Nerefus to do something. 
This much we can be sure of. Purge mankind. This Nerefus in the Quiet Lands must have sensed that danger and led us here. That's a nice theory, but you got any proof? None at all. Thought so. So we'll just have to ask. You who hears our voices, if I am right, please give us a sign. Tell us what the Radiant are trying to do. That's our next destination. Looks like we're about to the finale. I wonder what we're going to see. Don't run away now, Senel. You want to see the truth, don't you? No one's doing any running. I'll remember you said that. Don't let him get to you, Senel. You can have confidence in those three years you shared with Shirley. Confidence. Everything's hinging on your feelings. Yeah, I know. It's already been three years since we started living here. Time sure flies. Thanks for everything you've done for me, Seno. What's up? It's not like we're saying goodbye or anything. I've been meaning to say that for ages. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. I sacrificed myself in order to save you. You haven't forgotten that, have you? Jay? You're still awake. Jay, you look scary! Really? Your eyes look like the Jay from long ago! Jay, are you planning to do something about Shirley by yourself? I'm worried about leaving it to them. I have more experience with... certain matters. Yes. Lots of experience. How is the Marinus? The wings of light show no signs of activation. I didn't expect it to take this long. It's possible that the Marinus awakening is not yet fully complete. What? If so, then Senel is likely the cause. Senel? That little... We must be prepared, just in case. Let us formulate a plan at once. Alright, and we're finally back in control. And we can end the episode off because it's gone on a bit longer than I wanted yet again. Chances are, while well, I will be editing this tonight, of course it'll be like, this is a week or two ahead of when it's actually going up with me recording it, but chances are when I edit it tonight, I will at least remove the content from just running from the monument back here, just to cut out on some time. <laughs> but anyways... Again, that's it for today's episode, so as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all later with some more Let's Play Tales of Legendia. So until then, see you later, guys.